Peachy. She's so cute. Hey guys. Hey guys. Today I'm gonna be making a cat scratch board because we've been using these for years. This is the third one we've had. <laughs> there he goes. Most of these parts are scratched out. There's not much left for him to catch his nails on. And these things are $35. They're very expensive and we don't wanna just keep buying these for the rest of our lives. So I'm gonna make a similar scratch board out of wood that we can just replace the cardboard pieces inside. Haku, you're being inappropriate, we have guests. So in our last video about Haku, we mentioned that he has a sort of immune response to allergens that makes him extremely itchy. And so he's been licking and scratching off a lot of his fur. And some of you guys recommended we get a baby onesie or something to put him in so he can't lick it. I found a couple DIY, like cutting up old shirts where you could just make something. And that's what we did. It's been working really well. For the most part, he hasn't been licking and scratching off his stomach or side fur as much anymore. Haku. His fur has been growing back a little bit, but he does still have naked little chicken legs down there. Poor Haku. Anyway, I'm gonna make him a better scratch board. To prevent this from falling over, we could use heavy wood on the bottom and light wood on the back, and maybe that would work. Maybe? I found out that layering three of these next to each other would fit perfectly on a pre-sized board they had. So I altered the idea and now it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna glue these together and then I'm just gonna slide them down the back like this. So when we need new boards, we just pull it out and put a new one in. And that way it's much easier to get in and out and they'll be very sturdy for when the cats are scratching on them. Table. Whoa, Peach oh, Peach is awake. Hi, baby. <laughs> She's checking what you're doing. Pokey. We haven't built it yet. <laughs> Pokey, <laughs> you, <laughs> he's, he's so narrow. How about I put some of these on the floor and you can just sit over here, okay, boy? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. He's upset. Yeah, I know. Here, you sit over here, okay? There we go. He's happy. You're good. There you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. But before I do, I have to go over today's sponsor real quick, which are the new Soundcore Life Q35 wireless noise cancellation headphones. Y'all, Japan is a crowded country. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes you go to the supermarket and there's a 15 second loop of the supermarket theme song playing in the produce section. And on the loudspeakers overhead, they have an uncensored version of a Nicki Minaj song playing. There are all the beeps from the self-checkout machine that are way too loud. And then a baby starts crying next to you and you start freaking out and you're ready to walk out of the store and leave your basket there without getting anything because you can't handle all the noise. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> Pretty sure that's just you. Um, okay, well, if you have severe anxiety, like I do, sometimes you can get overstimulated with too much stuff going on out in public. Although and I can't stand Polka's piercing sound though. Yes, yeah, so everyone reaches a limit where there's just a little bit too much of stuff going on. And these are like my sanctuary. Since I've started using the Soundcore headphones, if you guys remember a few months ago, we also got their earbuds, which are also noise canceling, the Liberty Air 2 Pro. And I've been using these and those constantly. And now when I get overstimulated in public, I just put these on. I don't even have to play music because it has noise cancellation. I can, and then I feel so much calmer. Like it just gets rid of all of that insane noise and I can finish my shopping instead of walking out and sitting in the car for a few minutes until I calm down. It has changed my life. As you can see, they fit on my head and I have a very, very tiny head. I've <laughs> I have always had a problem with headphones not fitting on my head, even at the smallest setting. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just have a small head, you guys. The cushion, it's made out of memory foam. It is so soft. Mm. Very soft and comfortable. These have a 40 hour play time. You can charge them for five minutes and they'll play for four hours. They have a built in mic. The Soundcore app lets you customize the EQ. You can either pick one of their presets or make and save your own. I've been listening to everything on piano mode because you know what? It's my life. There are different noise cancellation modes. You can pick transport, indoor, or outdoor to maximize the effectiveness of the noise cancellation in different environments. It uses LDAC to transmit high resolution audio over Bluetooth, and it's a third the price of other major audio brands for the same or better quality. 
June and I use these every single day. I actually delayed filming this entire video by an hour because I didn't want to stop listening to music. We definitely recommend them. There are links in the description box. Paco face. <laughs> he seems totally fine. I think he's happy. It's <laughs> also perfect for smooshing cat faces. Question Jim. Hi, Nanda Scott. Do you have a brush? Steve Ramsey uses paintbrushes. <laughs> You're supposed to spread it evenly. I know! Why don't we get a brush then? Let's try this. Da, da, da. Wait, am I supposed to like clamp these together? Um, <laughs> more boards. What can I put on this? Nagi, maybe? <laughs> we got a sample of June's um, kitchen counter board with different types of sides and different connection methods. A loose ponytail was not a good idea for gluing. Good thing I've been doing yoga because even though the blood is rushing to my head, it's not a problem. <laughs> Maybe there's some glue left here. You don't want to oh, crap. Your hair touch. Well, whatever. Da, da, da. You know, this is a very. Ooh. This is a super easy DIY project. Aku. Uh oh. This board is kind of bent. It's not enough weight, June! <laughs> All right, you know what? We'll leave this as is for a little bit. A little later. It's been almost an hour. Before I lift this up, I'm going to move on to the next stage and start gluing these together so I can test this out. Which one's your favorite when you're short? Captain Pokey. <laughs> Haku on his back. And. Nagi with this toy. The bad thing about hot glue is it dries so quickly. No, oh no, oh no. No, it's already hardening. Are you checking? Hot glue, don't let your nose touch the he, glue. He won't, he can sense how hard it is. That's what I get for only using one line. Oh, three came to check. Pokey, can you check? How is it? Good. Okay. Let's check this out. Ba, 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 ba. Dun, dun, dun. We have a thing. How does it feel? I glued six pieces, five pieces of wood together. I'm so proud of myself. I'm asking how about Oh, this feels? <laughs> <laughs> well, how are My you feeling, honey? Status. Feeling good. Nagi's checking. Moment of truth. Bum, 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 bum. It's not gonna come out, which is good. Uh, there is a little bit of space on the sides. And that's what these are for, so I can just provide a little bit of a buffer on each side. And then I'm not worried about this direction because of this little board, which is going to go in here and push this pretty flat. I'm thinking this is probably pretty dull. Do we have any additional blades? No, it is. <laughs> this isn't even cutting through. Okay, so we have three hand saws. This is the third one. And if this one doesn't work, then we're gonna have to go buy another saw blade. You start by blade. going and pushing first. Don't pull back. My hand feels so shaky. <laughs> I had a second cup of coffee today. Okay. Please fit exactly. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, buy like a whole millimeter. Use sandpaper to make it perfectly fit. I do know this is very abrasive because I accidentally sanded my finger in the car. Pokey, there's sawdust. Boop, boop, boop.
<laughs> One really unnecessarily hard way later. And it fits. So this is the original side. And you can see how smooth it is. Okay, can I have one of these? I need one. Can you use me? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. There, you can go back. No, hang on. Okay. All right, go ahead. Sure. You, no, oh, okay. <laughs> Nagi. Nagi, baby. Oh, Haku's here. <gasps> Haku, look at your thing. I made this thing for you. The cool thing about doing this this way is once it gets scratched up, I can literally just lift it out and then put it in upside down. All of my cats have come. <laughs> All right, June. Guide on the The moment of truth. It's like a rocket landing. Wiping off the excess glue. This already looks so much better than that. Really? It's functional. Wait, oh, wait, I don't think it. Now that this has been glued down, I think before when we put it in, it was forcing this apart a little bit, but now it's stuck in place. So I think we actually need to sand some more. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa! Haku! Soon we'll make a new one. Alright, here are our two sawed boards. They're pretty exact. Turns out I probably should have just sawed on the line in the first place last time. <laughs> well, you learn, you learn. That's a great, there we go. That's a good sentence, isn't it? You learn, you learn. My favorite thing, sanding. Can you hold from one edge? There you go. Look at that. Very powerful. Yeah. I don't want this to be crazy, crazy tight putting it in or it'll be difficult to like replace it. This side fits pretty exactly, but this one sticks over the edge a little bit. This backing is actually like one millimeter too far this way. So I think that's why <laughs> this isn't fitting exactly anymore. But this one was the leftover of this board and we could just put this down here. It'll be a little bit lower, but then that way we'll have a little bit of extra space. So we just need to cut this in half. Pizza's using it too. I know, she's so cute. Hi. <laughs> right. Whoa. Okay, it's not done built yet. This guy <laughs> and this guy. They can't wait. They're already on. They can't wait. You gotta Neither hurry up. Peachy, We've look. gotta hurry up. She's so cute. Yeah, she's been observing <laughs> us too. Mr. Pokey. Yeah, he's giving me slow blinks. Sorry. He's my little baby. He's such a good boy. He already approved it. Pokey comes to sit on my lap every single day now. He has become such a good lap kitty. Yeah. I'm gonna move you though. You can stay on this. <laughs> Haku. Oh, so Haku. This is so heavy when Pokey is on it. Oh my god. Uh, make sure you don't... Um, it's just glued. Yeah. Oop, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> Is it a thing? What? Your My self, victory. self sound, sound effect. My victory music? Do you see the extra space in here? It's kind of not 90 degrees. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. The cats, see? Without it, it gives more freedom for cats. I know. I mean, if we put it up against a wall, it'll be fine. Sound effect, please. Oh, the middle part is... 
bumpy things. Now it feels like a Plinko board. Get over there, get over there. Into the $500. <laughs> so we only heard Plinko, what? It's like Plinko trying to bounce down. It definitely makes it more stable. It works better than I thought it would. Haku, do it, do it. How is it? Whoa. How is it? Haku came as soon as we're done building it. He's been here the whole time. He was Whoa, here a whole bunch. You've been waiting this whole time, huh? Yeah? How is it, buddy? Ooh. I want to saw off just a little, like a centimeter square, and then glue that piece in here so that it keeps it from moving back and forth. Uh, and then I think that's all the stability it will need. Okay. Is that good playing with the piece you just got? Yes. You're so helpful. You're so helpful. <laughs> he's loving this thing, Rachel. I know. He's, he's gonna so, be so happy. He's he is happy already. All the cats are gonna love it. Alright, I'm just gonna glue this. <laughs> it's the Maybe, final oh. slide down. Your Play sound effect sounds like 80s. Thank you. I think we're gonna leave it as is without these for now. Yeah. Partially because this is just really ugly. <laughs> I think Here. it's easier for cats to use it too. Yeah. It seems like it's stuck pretty quickly, but. We'll just leave that as is, and then come back in the morning and film the final stage. Do you want to scratch? Do you want to scratch? <laughs> we haven't put cat nib powder yet. Because he just likes it, just it's like new. the carpet. It doesn't smell like anyone yet. He, he has can make to it... make it smell like you, buddy. Now he can claim it. Did you want to use it too? The next day, someone seemed to like it a lot. Rachel, I think it's definitely better that we didn't attach the side pieces. <laughs> he looks happy. And here's my pokey. He looks comfy. Ohio pokey. Pitty! Hi! Whoa, nice scratch. Nice scratch. I could scratch it. Oh. This is what this is for. Pa pow! Pa pow! <laughs> Uh, so, mission accomplished. Yay.